How's it going everybody? Before this video starts, I just want to tell you guys about an amazing new website called Videoblocks.com. Videoblocks is a site where you can download stock HD videos, backgrounds, and after effects. It's completely copyright free, which makes it perfect for a YouTube channel or small business. And for a limited time only, if you click on the link down below, you can get up to 90% off on this amazing service. But it's limited time only, so click on it while you can. Thanks, and now enjoy the video. Alright, so what's up everybody? It's my mate Solver back at you guys with a brand new video. <clears throat> and that that opening clip of me slamming the pillow on the bed. That's how I feel about this team right now. Every week they give you a reason to just feel frustrated. Man, we lost to the Washington Redskins. Think about that for a moment. Washington Redskins were who are three and thirteen for the past like three or four years now. You do realize this is a team that was predicted to win the Super Bowl by Adam Schefter. Terrible play. Terrible play. On, on both sides of the football. I mean, the first half. What was that in the first half? What kind of offensive showing was that in the first half? The defense played fine. They bent, but they didn't break. But the, the first half offensive production was terrible. We got that one big run from Murray for 33 yards, and he finishes with 36 yards, or 35. So that means after that one big play, he gained three yards. Bradford was sacked five times. In the second half, we turned it around for a little bit. We had a couple big plays. Not going to discourage them for that. You know, I'll give credit where credit is due. But, for the most part, we play terrible. Offensive line is horrible. Lane Johnson was playing so bad, especially on that final like 20 something seconds where we might have had a chance. That was terrible. Receivers are dropping balls. Now Snaggler had a fumble. I don't even, what was Chip Kelly thinking about that reverse? Okay, so we just had a first down from a run. Then we just had a long first down from a throw. So then, instead of doing something normal, no, Chip Kelly wants to be the, the genius. He wants to be the, 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 I don't know what he's trying to be. He's trying to be somebody, something special. So then he does a double reverse and Aguilar fumbles. And then you guys still want to sit in the comments section and tell me, oh, it's it's only a couple games. Oh, you're overreacting. I'm overreacting now. Chip Kelly is is incompetent. He. The moves that he, he made made absolutely zero sense. I, I'm starting to see the Bradford one a little bit because I can see how he is somewhat of an upgrade over Nick Falls. He finished with three touchdowns, zero interceptions. But the complete lack of... Uh, he, he, the complete lack of trying to find an offensive lineman or any offensive lineman that could make this team just a little bit better because if you have a good offensive line then the defense would not be on the field as much because your offense would be on the field longer, giving your defense a rest. You would sustain drives for longer. You'd give Bradford more time to throw. you give Murray, Matthews, and Sproles running lanes. And you wouldn't have to keep running this east-to-west BS. Uh, but no. No, he just gets rid of the playmakers on the outside that really could have helped in this game. Really could have helped in the first half. If we had a Deshaun Jackson or a Jeremy Macklin, think about what kind of safety blanket, security blanket that would be to a quarterback. Everyone else is covered, just throw it up for Jackson or Macklin. They'll go up and get it. 
because they're superstars. But he has nobody on that team like that. If nobody's covered, nobody's covered. You can't you can't trust anybody with it because they're either going to drop the ball or they're going to cause an interception or they're going to fumble or anything. You can't trust anybody. Like I said, when you make this these many moves, you're not going to have any chemistry between these guys. These guys have zero chemistry between each other. This is ridiculous. It's... Oh, my God. I don't even know how we're going to even try to beat the Saints. Because this, this is Kirk Cousins. The Saints, Drew Brees. Drew Brees is a Super Bowl champion. I honestly don't even know what to say anymore. I really don't. And for you all calling me a bandwagon fan or whatever, how, 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 how am I bandwagon? How? Tell me. Because I make videos dedicated to my team? I don't see what you're doing, leaving hateful comments. Just because I say to fire Chip Kelly one week, and I still think you should fire him. I think that more. But just because I said fire Chip Kelly in week two, and then in week three I give him a bit of praise, but I don't say, oh, I'm, I, I said Chip Kelly made some necessary adjustments, but... I still believe that he should be fired in that Jets game. You can't call me a bandwagon for that. Because if you're using that kind of reasoning, then everybody who wanted Fletcher gone is a bandwagon. Because, oh, you should have faith in your team and the players and the coaches. And to all the thousands and thousands of people using the hashtag FireChip on Twitter, they're all bandwagons too, right? Stop playing yourself, man. I was the most positive person looking on this team this year. I see us finishing 3 and 13. That's my that's my prediction. 3 and 13. And I know some of you guys are going to say we were 1 and 3 in 2013 and we finished 10 and 6 and made the playoffs. That was 2013 when we started Deshaun Jackson. That was 2013 when we still had Evan Mathis, Todd Harriman, we had all the, the whole offensive line. That was 2013 when we started Shady McCoy. That was that same 2013 where Nick Foles threw for 27 touchdowns and 2 interceptions. Things have changed since then. We're going 3-13. and and We should fire Chip and hire a real head coach. A real head coach. And not some college guy. Because if we fire Chip, he's going to run back to USC. Anyway, this is my 12. Like, rate, comment, subscribe. I'm out.